Colton's basically a, a pretty determined uh, kid. He's uh, once he's set his mind to something, he will uh, he will make it work and make it happen. When people uh, ask me to describe Colton, usually I say he's like Dennis the Menace because he's uh, anything a boy will get into, he gets into. At the beginning of September, everything kind of. Um, he had just finished hockey tryouts. Well, Thursday he found out he made the team. He was told he didn't have to go to the tryouts on uh, the Friday because he already made the cut and uh, came home off the bus from school and uh, we were harvesting our corn. He uh, had his earmuffs on, didn't hear the harvester and uh, lost his leg uh, just below the knee in the mid-calf. You know, obviously everybody was in shock and uh, right away the team uh, offered their support. The coaching staff decided that they wanted to do something um, to show that the team was still thinking about Colton and that he was still on their minds. On the helmets they put a sticker of a hawk and then um because that was my nickname for the team and then on their um they put um a hawk a hawk logo on the side of their jerseys and their shoulders and it was a box with a golden hawk in it. Colton's one of four kids, and he's the only boy. <laughs> and uh, I think just that uh, motivation to keep up with his sisters again um, kind of got him up and going. November 27th is when he actually got fit for his first temporary prosthetic. And Colton set a goal for himself. All of a sudden he said, um, I want to be skating in a month. And the prosthetic people said, yeah, you're not even going to be, you're going to be barely walking by then, let alone skating. But okay, dream on. And uh, December 27th. He was on the ice. The prosthetic guy, he said I was abnormal, the speed that I was able to recover and walk and play hockey. Most people right now, they'd just be starting to walk, walking. Colton started skating with them, uh, like going attending practices and stuff. And yeah, everybody just seemed to uh, kind of pick up their game, so to speak. And then they ended up winning the uh, OMHA championship. Colton was really desperate to get out on the ice and all of that, but he was uh, just excited to be a part of everything with them all, and uh, he was glad to be there to be able to cheer on his teammates. And uh, when they were able to go out there and lift the trophy at the end of it all and skate around with the red hats, they uh, really enjoyed it. <laughs> if he didn't have hockey, um, I, I don't know what would have happened. It was something that brought him back to normal and, and brought uh, that everything that happened to him was was normal and he could be a normal kid again you know basically you're trying to keep a uh, uh, kid's life a kid's life and if he can't run around and play then it, it's not a normal life oh!